I'm sure all of you are excited and happy to hear a talk tonight from Tom Woods. Yeah. All right. So, so I would very much like to welcome all of you to the 2018 version of Mises U, Mises University, a program that's been going on for several decades. Uh, Pat Barnett has provided me with some statistics. So we have 129 schools represented. We have people from 24 countries and 33 U.S. states, so 195 people overall. So congratulations. And, uh, and, and I really do mean congratulations. Congratulations for finding your way here, for finding out about Austrian economics, and for having the uh, wherewithal to be willing to, to read books and engage in more intellectual pursuits than a lot of people your age are willing to do. Uh, before Joe Salerno comes up to introduce the faculty, before Tom Woods comes up to give his talk, I just wanted to speak for a few minutes uh, about Mises University and about all of you. Uh, I am sure at least, at least probably two-thirds of you have never attended Mises U and presumably have never been to the Institute itself. So we're very proud of our building and our grounds and our gardens, which uh, have taken a lot of work and effort over the years. Uh, I'm sure you've seen some of our libraries by now, some of our books both downstairs and upstairs. We actually have almost 50,000 volumes in this building, which makes us one of the largest private libraries in the entire southeast of the country. So it's actually quite an amazing collection. Uh, and we have the, uh, uh, the books that belong to Murray Rothbard, which are downstairs. And they apparently filled his New York apartment to the rafters. And if you'll notice, if you take some of those off the shelves, there's a lot of Murrayisms uh, in the marginalia, which is really, really neat to see. Uh, for instance, Isabel Patterson's God of the Machine has some great Murray notes in it. Uh, we also have, uh, not all, we have some of Dr. Gary North's books, only about 10,000. That was just his politics and econ and history. Okay, his other books, his religion and other things were, were given away somewhere else. And I would hasten to add, with regard to both Gary North and Murray Rothbard, these were not vanity collections, ladies and gentlemen, that you have on your shelf to impress people who come over. They, they read every last one of these books, and probably some of them more than once. Uh, we also have uh, Robert Higgs' books. Uh, he, had, he had moved away to Mexico and wanted to lighten his load, so we have Robert Higgs' books. We have the collection of Richard Ebeling. Uh, we have the books of Ralph Rako. Um, and I'm told, I'm told, well actually he insists on this, I'm told that when, when in, in 30 or 40 years when Walter Block dies, <laughs> that we're gonna get, that we're gonna get his books as well. <laughs> but I wanted to also mention briefly that really, if we think about it, it's, it's a almost a remarkable series of events that led all of you to be here tonight. And I don't just mean uh, the creation of and the founding of the Austrian school, and then its resurgence in the United States later in the 60s and 70s, in large part, not entirely, but in large part due to the efforts of Murray Rothbard. Uh, but not so much that the Austrian school was created, but that the fact that we're all here together this evening in Auburn, Alabama, across the street from Auburn University, is really quite remarkable. And think about what brought us all here. Well, first and foremost, what brought us all here was Lou Rockwell, who, as a young editor at Arlington House, um, yes, uh, Lou is of course our founder, but as a young editor at Arlington House was given the opportunity to edit uh, some new editions of some Mises books and grew to become a Misesian and later actually met Ludwig von Mises as a result of that and of course became friends with and close with Margaret von Mises, his widow. So that was one element of why we're all here tonight. Another one was a, a man named Judge John Denson, who is a very important judge and a longtime attorney here in Lee County, Alabama. A lot of you will have an opportunity to meet him tomorrow evening and throughout the week, uh, who is a trustee at Auburn University in a period where Lou Rockwell was looking for a home for a new center to promote Misesian and Austrian economics. And Judge Denson happened to hear about this when he was visiting Washington, D.C. So that's a very uh, happy turn of events. Uh, that those two gentlemen were able to get together. And one of the, perhaps the third leg of the stool was that there was an economist uh, in the department at Auburn University named Roger Garrison, who's with us this evening. And a lot of you know him. So we had the, we had the combination of, of Lou Rocco wanting to set something up. We had a, a, a friendly trustee, and we had a friendly economics department across the street at Auburn. So I think those are all 
uh, very remarkable things. So as a result of that, we're all connected here this evening. We're all in Auburn, Alabama here in 2018. But I'd just like you to think about briefly how being here tonight connects all of you to a, a tradition and a history and to some very important people. Because as I mentioned earlier, Lou Rockwell actually knew and met Ludwig von Mises. Of course, he knew uh, Margaret von Mises better. Uh, Walter Block had met Lud Ludwig von Mises. Of course, there are many people in this room who were close with and knew Murray Rothbard quite well. Uh, there, there are several people in this room who met and knew Ayn Rand. There are people in this room, of course, Lou Rockwell among them, who uh, knew a great benefactor of, of this institution, the late Henry Hazlitt. And of course, there are people in this room who knew and met uh, the late Friedrich Hayek, who was actually, unbeknownst to a lot of people, one of our founding board members here at the Mises Institute. So in a sense, you are all connected to these people through people who are still alive and, and with us in this room. And as a result of, of some of the thinkers I mentioned, uh, we had a, a very now infamous conference in South Royalton in the early 1970s in Vermont that was part of a, a renaissance in the Austrian tradition. And some people in this room were there. Uh, the aforementioned Roger Garrison was there, Dr. Walter Block was there, Joe Salerno was there. Uh, and they influenced a lot of people in their work, uh, people of that generation that, you, that many of you know, people like uh, Huerta de Soto in Spain, people like David Gordon, uh, people like Hans Hermann Hoppe, Yuri Maltsev, Jeffrey Herbner, Tom DiLorenzo, who's here with us this evening. So from these older thinkers, turn of the century thinkers, we had a couple of new generations. And then if we think about the people they influenced, we moved down a generation. We have the, the Mark Thorntons, the Guido Halsmans, the Peter Kleins, the Sean Rittenauers, uh, all of whom you, you, you fortunate young people, have the opportunity to meet and talk to and work with and email and network with and get to know and pick their brains. So that's actually quite a privilege. And then, of course, the gentleman I just mentioned influenced a generation below them, the Tom Woods and the Bob Murphys and the Tim Terrells of the world. And many of them were young Mises U attendees like you are this evening. And they, in turn, influenced some younger Mises U attendees, people like Per Bieland and Lucas Engelhardt, who I saw earlier, and Carmen Dor Dorabat and her husband, Matt McCaffrey, who are here this week, and G.P. Manish and Malik Balanvika Nair, who were close to us here in Troy, and Philip Bogus and David Howden. And they, in turn, influenced a whole new generation of thinkers, uh, who many of whom are our summer fellows here uh, that are spending the summer with us. And I really recommend that you get to know some of them, because I think some of them are going to do incredible great things. So how this connects all of you is that you are now all part of, however small or large as you move forward in your lives, in your college, in your career, you're now all part of a tradition and really more importantly, a group of people, human beings uh, that you've met and we encourage you to do your part in promoting and encouraging this tradition. So with that, please welcome our academic VP, Dr. Joe Salerno. Hello and uh, welcome to everyone here and everyone viewing online. Uh, I would like to uh, reiterate um, the thanks to our very generous donors who make Mises um, University possible. Uh, let's have a round of applause. <laughs> this is my favorite event uh, that um, is carried on at the Mises Institute. Um, this week you'll hear lectures from a very distinguished faculty of economists, historians, philosophers, and a very brilliant legal scholar. I'm especially uh, proud to inform you that more than half of the faculty has attended Mises University, as, as you are doing right now, as students. Uh, and some of them were students even as late as 2010, 2011, but now they're faculty members at academic institutions. On the other hand, some of the faculty here have sat in Murray Rothbard's living room in the very beginning of the Austrian economics revival, way back in the early 1960s, Walter Block. <laughs> but regardless of age, all the members of the faculty have devoted themselves to studying, teaching, and writing Austrian economics for their entire adult lives. Uh, and all have been greatly influenced by the works of Mises and Rothbard, who are our mentors and our guiding spirits here. 
Murray Rothbard once said in the late 1980s that the Mises University faculty represents the greatest assembly of Austrian brain power since um, Mises' seminars in old Vienna. Um, even with Murray gone, uh, there are enough additional people that he inspired uh, to make that still true, I believe. Okay, there's maybe you know, 40 of us make up for, for Murray. Um, okay. Uh, so this week you have a wonderful opportunity to learn from the leading lights of the Austrian school. All we ask of you is that you take full advantage of the program that we have organized for you, which means attending on a regular basis. Uh, you're all on scholarship and you're all obligated to attend. And uh, that's enforced by Guido Hulsmann. Uh, <laughs> last name, German, I need not say more. I have several reminders for students. Um, Auburn University is a smoke-free campus, including outside the dorm. No alcohol is permitted in the dorm or a group is tossed out uh, if, you, if, the, if the policy is violated. Students who have a car at the dorm, and this is important, must have a parking pass or you will be towed by aforementioned Guido Holzman. <laughs> no. Um, email uh, pat at mises.org if you need a parking pass. At the dorm check-in, um, um, make sure you take a bag of sheets or towels instead of one sheet or towel out of the bag. So just take the full bag, okay? Let's, let's try to do that. That's a test of whether you stay longer at that, if, if you can, if, okay. Um, and please return the, the bags at check-in uh, in the area of the dorm. Please remember to wear your name tags um, when attending the sessions and uh, in the dining area. Uh, and all students on scholarship, and I'm repeating this, are required to attend class um, each period. Okay, now for a task I relish, uh, the faculty introductions, except in a few selected, a few selected <laughs> exceptions. But, uh, and all, we have such a, a large and great faculty for you that I'm just going to read their names, and if they're here, they will stand up. And hold your applause, please, until the end. Um, Walter Block. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> We're not holding it this year. Can't follow instructions. Okay. But you're libertarians, right? You defy, you defy authority. Guido is smiling, though, and licking his chops. Mark Branley, William Butos, Thomas DiLorenzo, Carmen Dorbot, Lucas Engelhardt, who I'm proud to say is a 2018 Gary G. Schlarbaum professor at Mises University. Um, thank you. Roger Garrison, David Gordon, Jeffrey Herbener, uh, Jorg Guido Hulsman, Carl Friedrich Israel, Peter Klein, G.P. Manish, um, Matthew McCaffrey, if you can just stand so people can at least see you. Not you, Matt, sit down. <laughs> Robert Murphy, uh, Malavika Nair, Judge Andrew Napolitano, uh, Jonathan Newman, Patrick Newman, the good and the bad Newmans, respectively. No, no. <laughs> Benjamin Powell, Joe Salerno, you can. <laughs> Edward Stringham, Timothy Terrell, Mark Thornton, and Tom Woods. Yeah. 